What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping on to that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And today we are showcasing Kiram White. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you so much to everybody who supports me as a content creator. Everybody who subscribes to the channel, everybody who likes up the videos, or anybody who just tunes in and watches. It really does go a long way. But this team right here was sent in by my main man, Zach. Zach, shout out to you, my man, for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, leave them in my Instagram DMs. I try to get back to everybody as soon as possible. There's a link down in the description below to my Instagram page, and the name is right below my face cam. But this team right here is pretty heavy meta, but it looks super, super strong. So I feel like we're going to be able to get some wins in today's video and rock out really good with this team. But top left corner getting started with this squad. We have Spectre over here. Not Calyrex. It's just the horse. We just got Shadow Horse over here. Spectre with Grimne ability. Focus Sash as his item. And then this amazing support moveset. I love this moveset. I think this Pokemon is really, really strong with this moveset. And it just helps control the battle. We have Snarl for special attack drop. Will-O-Wisp for burns and physical attack drop. Taunt for support mods. And Shadow Ball for our lonely stab move. Right next to him is one of the best support mods in the game. That is Incineroar. I'm not even going to say anything about it. You guys already know plenty about that. There's its moveset, its item that it usually uses, and its typical ability. Middle left is the heart and soul of the team. We're going to be talking about this guy. Kiram White over here. Turbo Blaze ability. Life Orb so we can do more damage. And this Pokemon hits like a truck. I swear to God. Cannot wait to show off this Pokemon for you guys. This thing hits so hard and can just one-tap Pokemon left and right. It's Dragon and Ice type with Fusion Flare, Freeze Dry, Dragon Pulse, and Protect as its moveset. Middle Right is another Pokemon that I don't really need to say anything about. But I am going to talk about this one because its moveset is a little bit different. We got Regilecki over here with the Magnet item and Transistor ability. We got Thunderbolt, which is typical. E-Web, which is a typical move for Speed Control. Then then we have Protect and Eerie Impulse. So we got Protect, which is just normal Protect, but Eerie Impulse is amazing, especially on a Regilecki because you're not going to really be expecting it. It drops Special Attack by two stages, which is huge. It basically takes out a Special Attacker right then and there. So anytime we're going up against a Special Attacker, I'm going to bring out that Pokemon, drop an Eerie Impulse, and drop their Special Attack very, very much. But bottom left corner, we have Urshfu over here. Love this Pokemon as well, and I really do like this moveset more than any other moveset. Actually, it's tough because I really like rolling Detect on this Pokemon, but this moveset is really good as well. We got Choice Ban on him, Unseen Fist, Close Combat, Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Poison Jab. I just love having Poison Jab on the Pokemon, considering Fairy is such a huge threat in the meta right now. Final Pokemon is going to be Rillaboom, one of the best non-legendary Pokemons in the meta right now. Grassy Surge ability, Miracle Seize as item, and then this normal move set of Wood Hammer, Fake Out, Grassy Glide, and Knock Off. Guys, you're going to try out the team for yourself. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Kiram White team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first battle, going up against a Yvelta team alongside with Stakataka, who can drop a Trick Room. He also has Amoongus for great support, Volcarona, Jelly Scent, which can also drop a Trick Room, and Mamoswine as his final Pokemon. Mamoswine's such a beast. I love that Pokemon all around. I feel like it's very underrated, but it is so strong at the same time. But I think we definitely got to lead the Spectre, get rolling with him, because he just supports so well, and he can also taunt any Trick Room Pokemon. He could also drop a... Uh, Amoongus in there, so I might leave Kiram at the same time. I feel like Kiram could be decent here. Or I could go in with a Fake Out Mon. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Yeah, let's go Incineroar. Let's go Fake Out Mon with uh, Spectre so I can taunt. I can Fake Out whatever I want and just get rolling out from there. Definitely want Kiram white in the back end and then final Pokemon. I think an Urshifu could be best bet for us. Urshifu or Rillaboom? One or the other. They're both really, really good. I just love having this Choice Band on this Pokemon. It just rocks out so well. It does huge damage. I'm thinking of going with that, but yo, Rillaboom? But Rillaboom's looking mighty fine here. Rillaboom is looking mighty fine. So I might actually drop into him. Hmm. What do I want to do? I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine going in with Urshifu. So I'm going to keep Rillaboom in the back end. We're going to rock out with Urshifu in the final spot. I just love having this Pokemon, especially with Choice Band in the back end. He comes in later in the match. He hits so hard because of the Choice Band. And he just he's able to pick up KOs and pick up the wins in the final seconds of the battle. But guys, let me know for question of the day. For the new game, Pokemon's Legend Arceus, I know probably everybody in that game is going to be amazing. Let me know what starter you guys are going to choose. We got Cyndaquil, Oshawott, and Rowlet. I'm stuck between Cyndaquil and Oshawott. I don't want Rowlet. I really do like Rowlet, but I think the other two are a little bit more superior. Definitely let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he is going to end up going uh, Yveltal and Amoongus. So in this case, I could fake out and just start snarling. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I'm actually just going to snarl and fake out onto the Yveltal slot. 
Actually, hmm, what do I want to do here? Maybe I don't even have to fake out. I really don't even have to fake out. Spectre should be able to outspeak it to special attack drop, and we should be able to roll off from there. Because he could protect one of them, so I'm just going to drop a big old Flare Blitz into this Amoongus, just so it doesn't just start spawning on me, putting all my Pokemon to sleep, and going from there. Now, we're just going to get after it, try and do as much damage as we possibly can right off the rip, and get rolling from there. Let's get it. So going to come out here first, which is awesome. Big old special attack drop. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Drop that thing. Special attack. Put it to the dirt, baby. Put it to the dirt. But Oblivion Wing is going to fly out here. We should be fine. We have a Focus Ash, so. And that's going after Incineroar. Okay. I'm cool with it. I am cool with that. So he's going to drop an Oblivion Wing. It's going to be easy eats. I'm totally fine with that turn all day. Totally fine with that turn. Flare Blitz is going to fly through here. We're going to get ripping up on this Amoogus. Get him. Get him. Big damage here. Another Snarl should be able to take it out unless it's rocking a berry. Let's see how it's going. Oh, it's Rocky Helmet, and then there's the Weakle. Ooh. And he is going to end up Spore. So there's his Spore. He could end up protecting. He does put me to sleep, Buttery Biscuit. Son of a gunny. He might end up swapping. He might end up swapping. I'm still going to Snarl. I'm going to Snarl, but in this case, I might just Parting Shot. Or I can Flare Blitz up into him. I'm just going to Parting Shot over onto this slot. Because I can see him swapping, right? Hmm. Gonna parting shot. I'm just going to party. I should have taunted him. Turn one. I should have just taunted him. It probably could have been a play. Here goes protect out from the Moongus. Beautiful. So we can parting shot. We can pivot out. And we can start wasting out these uh, sleep turns. Spectre is fast asleep. And what are you going to go for? He's going to go for a snarl, which is totally fine. I'm cool with it all day. I'm cool with it, man. We can definitely eat up another snarl, which is fine. And I'm going to swap out into uh, probably a physical attacker, right? My Urshifu should come in here, because I don't want my Kirim to get special attack drop. So I'm going to Parting Shot, save my Intimidate for later, and hey, have Fake Out later in the match as well. And we're going to get after it. And we're going to get after it. We're going to bring out Urshifu. I have to I have to get into a move here. Or I can just hard swap again. Because he could just go into Oblivion Wing. That's tough news. That is tough news. I'd love to get off another Snarl. Let me just swap again. Could sucker punch and take the death. What do I want to do here? Hmm. I might guab berry. This could actually trigger my guab berry. So we're just gonna swap him, forcing a blue wing to come out here onto the Earth Spoo slot. And he might spore up on me. It's a little tough. There goes this. Hopefully my Spectre wakes up here. That could be big for us because then we take out a Moongus and we get a special attack drop as well. Let's see what happens here. Swap him back into this guy. I can fake out next turn and be thriving. Let's see what's going on. Come on, wake up, wake up, Spectre. Wake up. And he's going to end up ooh, withdrawing the Moongus. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I doubt he's going for another Snarl. He has to be going for an Oblivion Wing on me, right? I'm still asleep, which is totally fine. I should be able to wake up next turn. And here's Oblivion Wing. Beautiful. Incineroar should be able to eat this up, no problem, right? Let's go after Incineroar. Yep. And our Guad Berry is going to trigger. So great little read by me. Nice little play by me. Keeping our Urshfield alive. And we are going to be able to, uh, how do we get off a of Snarl this turn, right? I'm gonna get off the snarl this turn, so I'm just gonna fake out the Volcarona and just snarl up again. Fake out you, Volcarona, or I could pivot out again. I could pivot out again if I want to. Let's see what happens here. Protects can come out from Volcarona. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. He reads my fake out, but Spectre should be able to wake out up here. I sure hope so, dude, because three turns sleep? That's whack. What you mean, dude? Get out of my face! Foul plays can come through here, and there goes Spectre. That is so whack, yo. How am I asleep for that long? Get out my face. Get him out of here. Don't want to deal with him. Don't want to deal with that thing one bit. So now I'm going to bring out Kirim. I'm going to bring out Kirim right now. We're going to have to get after these Pokemon. Got to do some work. But dude, that is so whack. That's honestly so whack. Like, get out my face. Got to bring out Big Dog here. And we're going to get rolling. I know Amoongus does have Regenerator on him. Which is a little tough. But I think we should be fine. The Freeze Strike. Ready to rock. So I'm going to drop a Freeze Strike onto you. And I might just Parting Shot. I'm just going to Parting Shot again. Get a nice, lovely little parting shot over onto the Volcarona. Drop a nice little freeze dry over onto the Yveltal and see how we can go from there. Let's see. I don't think he's weak to fire moves. But he's part dragon. So he's going to end up with on the Volcarona and he's going to go back out into the Moongus, if I had to guess. Yeah, he goes back out into the Moongus. Moongus does get some HP back. Freeze dry is going to pop. Get after that thing. Bang, doing some big damage. Gotta love it. Got to love it. And the parting shot is going to come out here and throw Dang it, man, dude. I gotta hate Snarl, man. Hate Snarl. Snarl is the worst thing ever. It's the worst thing ever. 
But he's gonna get the drops on us, and I'm just gonna partner shot. I'll be back for another turn later in the match. Partner shot on the him. I gotta think of what we should do here. We obviously have to bring out Urshfield, it's our only option, but I think I gotta get rid of the Moongus. Hmm, what do I wanna do here? I have to uh, go into a move here. That's a choice into a move here. I definitely wanna freeze dry into the though. This is a good battle for first battle. A great battle. I think another freeze dry will still be able to take that thing out. We are all special attacking, which is tough. I could fusion fire. But at the same time, I feel like this should still be able to take him out. So I am going to go there. I might drop a Wicked Blow. I think a Wicked Blow is going to be our best bet to choice into. Considering it's Stab, it's Choice Band, it hits through uh, Protects. It's a guaranteed crit. So I'm really liking that. I'm really liking where we're sitting here. Again, we still have that instant order in the back. So I can do a hard swap next turn. Which I might end up doing after this... Uh, the Chevelte is gone. It's hard swapping my Kyurem just so he's at full attack stat instead of being down minus one. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's just see how this one plays out. I'm hoping he protects the Moongus, but I can hit right through it. I'm gonna end up withdrawing Yvelta and going into probably uh, Volcarona. Is that correct? Yep, Volcarona comes out and about. Totally fine. And Rage Powder is gonna fly through. So that's totally fine. I'll be able to take you out, no problem. And I'm hoping the Kyurem can take him out. That would be so much better for me. This might actually work out better in our favor. Yep, Kiram takes him out. The Wicked Boy's gonna slide over to Volcarona. I really, really like that. I really like that. Instead of the Freeze Strike going into Volcarona, Wicked Boy's gonna fly through here. We're getting after it with that Choice Band move. Let's rock out. Bang, getting some huge damage. Oh my lord. Yo, this is why I love this Urshifu. Yo, look how hard he hits. Him like a truck, dude. No problem. No problem. Just drop Pokemon left and right. So I can do a hard swap here if I really want to. He's going to have to bring back out uh, Yvelta and then throw out his final mod. Which actually, I could be fine with because I know we outspeed. Oh, I know we outspeed. I know we outspeed. So I'm just going to drop a freeze dry and then just drop a wicked blow. I think we're fine. I could do a hard swap if I really want to, but I'm just going to wicked blow. I have to. I'm choosing that move. Let's rock out. Let's get after it. We might end up protecting Yvelta, but I'm totally fine with that. And Mammoth Swine could be sashed. But we shall see what happens here. Free try comes through. Yvelta should still go down here, even though we're minus one, right? Correct? Get that thing out of here. Yep, get him out of my game. Beautiful, yo. Beautiful. Played this first battle pretty solid. Had a few good swaps in here. Made a few good reads and just played this battle good all around. Wicked Boy's gonna come out here. Probably bring this thing down to Sash. We're pretty close to it. Let's see. Yep, brings it down to Sash, dude. That thing's, that thing's insane. Choice banding an Urshfu is deadly. It's tapping up on everything in one shot. It's critting, it's stab, it's sometimes super effective. But then the choice band damage on top of it is just huge. It is just huge all around. But he ends up taking me out. I'm going to be able to bring out Incineroar. Have Fake Out come out first turn. And we outspeed him anyway. So that's going to be GG. He's probably just going to cancel the battle. He is probably just going to cancel the battle. Because I hit through Protects anyway. So what are you going to do? Protect the Fake Out? Are you going to protect the Fake Out? Is that what you're going to do? Because then my Earth Food just comes in here, hits through, and finishes up this game. So what's your call, man? You cancel the battle or you let your Mammo go down? Let's see what he does. It's your call, buddy. It is your call. Your call. Is he going to keep the Mammo alive, or is he going to be like, all right, let him go down? That would be a terrible trainer to let his dang little Mammo Swine die when he doesn't have to, when you can just put him back in the Poke Wall and walk away from the battle. But, yo, it sure seems like he's going to keep him in. That poor Mammo Swine. Don't do it. Don't do it to your poor Mammo Swine. You can't win this one. It's impossible. It's impossible. You stay in, you get faked out, you protect, you get Wicked Blood. It's just over with. There is no way this guy wins. There's no shot. Like, I think it's 100% in my favor. And there he goes. He just turns off his console. He's sitting there. He's thinking. He was like, yo, should I run? Is there any way to win? And he's like, you know what? Screw this game. Turns off his console. Yo, that's hilarious. Battle number one in the bag. We're one and now. Let's hop to our second and look to go back to back. On to the next battle, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with Ndidi, Entei, Celestial, Urshfu, and Wimscott. So definitely gotta watch out for that Wimscott setting up a Tailwind early on in that match and just taking speed. So with that said, I might just go into Incineroar and Kirim. That could definitely be a good call, or I could take speed advantage with Regilecki and roll off from there. I definitely want to check out this Pokemon's speed. Our little Kirim, is he fast? He's decently fast. I think with a minus one, he could outspeed a... Uh, a Wimscott, but at the same time, it doesn't really do much. So I might go here, Incineroar, Kyurem as a lead, and then have Regilecki in the back, and then final Pokemon could... Could be Urshfu, yo. We just, oh, we have to bring in Urshfu, right? Hmm, we have to bring in Urshfu. It's a must. It's a must up against these Pokemon. 
let's bring in Urshfu. Let's settle in here. Let's get rocking out in this battle. But yo, reason I'm saying we have to bring in Urshfu is because he has Shadow Rider Calyrex. Like, dude, Urshfu is a top tier Pokemon going up against that. You hit him with one Sucker Punch, it's going to drop him down. Unless he's Sash. Unless he's Sash, it's going to take him out easily. No problem whatsoever. Indeed, he is also a little bit of a threat because considering it's a good support mod and it pairs really well with that uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. That's another reason why Urshfu is great. But now that I'm thinking it, I probably should have led like uh, Regilecki and Urshifu. That probably would have been the play. Because if he throws out Spectre out here, it's really tough. This is really tough for us. But let's just see. We shall see what he goes with. Maybe he'll go in with the Whimscott. That's what we're kind of hoping for. But Spectre is such a huge threat. Not Spectre. Uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Let's see. He's going to end up tossing out. Entei and Urshfu. Okay, I'm cool with that lead. I'm cool with that all day. Considering we get off a nice big old Intimidate through Incineroar, and I have to fake out onto the Urshfu because Inner Focus is a thing, and we can't go off on that Entei. So we're sitting there. We're going to fake out onto the uh, onto the Urshfu slot. He has minus one, but Wicked Blow kind of neglects that if he uses that move. But we're still going to end up faking out. And then we could go after that Pokemon. We could go after Urshfu. He kind of poses a threat. We could just go straight for a Dragon Pulse. What do I want to do? Mm. What does Genius want to do here? I think I'm just going to go after you. I think he's posing a threat here. I don't know why. What do I think Entei's going to go for? Maybe a Snarl? Does, does he Rock Snarl? Usually not. It's usually Extreme Speed, Sacred Fire, and maybe like an Earth Power. Definitely Protect he's rocking out with, but we shall see what he's doing. Entei's just like decently all around. You see, he has decent stats, decent speed, decent attack, decent defense. He's just a great Pokemon on any team, really. The fake out's gonna pop out here. We're gonna cause that flinch, and a Stone Edge is gonna fly through here. And he misses, yo. Let's go. Let's go. He misses my dang Kiram. Get that thing out of my face. So he is end up rocking Stone Edge. Stone Edge is, is a typical move for him. And Kiram just... And Kiram! Yo, chill on them! Yo, says, get out of my game, dude! Drops big old Dragon Pulse, takes out that little squishy Urshfu, gets him out of her game. So we're not worried about that thing. Not one bit. I can definitely party shot here, which might be my play. Onto this next Pokemon that he throws out. Which could be the Spectre, and I'm kind of scared of that. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie, I'm kind of scared of that. So I might end up party shot onto it. Bringing out the Regilecki and start taking speed control for the rest of the battle. Just saving that Urshfu. But we shall see what we're gonna do here. He's gonna throw out Indeedee. Okay, he's gonna throw out Indeedee, and Indeedee can be decent here. We just can't Sucker Punch. That's our only problem here. We can't go into Sucker Punches. Due to the sheer fact that uh, the, the Psychic Train is out. So, Psychic Seize is popping. Special Defense is going to get a raise. And he might just start going for Follow Me. So, in that case, I'm. Ooh, I could taunt him. I might taunt him, then Parting Shot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I might end up protecting. Do I, should I protect? Well, you know, I'm just going to go for Dragon Pulse over onto uh, the Sente. Start dealing damage on that. And then I might protect the Parting Shot next turn. We'll see what happens. I think that's going to be my play. Instead of just instantly parting shot, I'm going to taunt up on this Ndidi before we do roll out here. Yeah, because this, this thing's just support. It's just going to keep supporting. So I'd rather taunt and get rolling from there. Then it's going to fly through here. Can we eat this one up? We don't, yo. Helping hand coming in huge. Helping hand coming in big. The so helping hand ends up rocking out there. Um, hmm, my Kiram goes down. Still have Urshfu in that back end. And we also have Regilecki. So I could bring in Regilecki here. Hmm. I bring in Regilecki or do I just bring in... Just bring in Urshifu. He has to have Spectre in the back, so that should be a free shot right into that uh, Indeedee to take out, right? I really want a Parting Shot, but like Parting Shot won't do anything up against that Entei. It will just be a free swap, you know? But it will allow my... Uh... It will allow Entei to go first and have my Regilecki come through, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to end up going into a Wicked Blow into the Indeed slot. It has to be Spectre as his final mod, so I feel safe going into this. Because he can either protect or swap, and we're going to be able to do big damage on either Pokemon. So if I can get the swap out, this could be huge for us later, because we can get Red Slecky out here, speed control, and have Urshfu just start uh, taking out Pokemon one by one. Uh, that's going to be my play. That is going to be my play. That is what's so good about Urshfu, is you can't even like protect through it. His ability is insane, so it's like he's on the field, you have to deal with him. If not, he's going to hit you really, really hard and take you out. But I don't see Entei taking him out in one shot, unless a helping hand comes through, but he's taunted. So Sacred Fire is going to come through here. He's probably going to get a burn, and I'm going to cry. Let's see how this one plays out here. 
No burn. Here comes a wicked blow. That's huge. That's huge all around. Let's get it. Wicked blow fly serve. KO right. Yep. Get that thing out my face. That is beautiful. Gotta love it. And we're gonna be able to parting shot with this guy. And then next turn we can e-web speed control. Make sure that Urshfu outspeeds whoever he's going up against. And we can go from there. So we gotta love it. Oh, and that ends up... Oh, inner focus doesn't block it. So I really do like that. I really like that. I thought inner focus blocks that, but I guess it just intimidates. So we still have Incineroar in the back, which is great. Which is just dandy. We're gonna bring out Red Zalecki here. That thing is minus on its attack board. And now it's gonna be minus on speed. And again, I think Spectre has to come out here, right? Not Spectre. Shadow Rider Kalax. I always get them confused. Because we have a Spectre on our team. Wait, is it Shadow Rider? It is. His is. This is a Shadow Rider Calyrex. He does have unnerved, so I cannot eat my berry with my Incineroar if he's out there. So, hmm. Let me see this thing's speed. How fast slow are you? How fast are you? 149. I think we should be able to outspeed still, right? This is this is another reason why I wish I had Protect you. I'm definitely going to go into that. I'm just going to drop a Wicked Blow. I wish I could uh, go into a Sucker Punch. I could swap here just to save a Sucker Punch. What do I want to do? I might save my Sucker Punch. And just start slowing down these Pokemon. Because what's Incineroar really going to do? What's he really going to do here? I need, my, I need a choice into a Sucker Punch. I cannot Sucker Punch. That might have been a dumb turn. But hey, we're just going to go into this. And just start slowing him down. Just to make sure we can outspeed. Because I don't think Urshifu can outspeed that Spectre. Only on minus one. But we're going to see. We're going to see what happens here. We shall see. E-Web coming through. And we're going to be able to start slowing them down and doing some bigger damage here. But maybe the Psychic Terrain can be gone by the time he comes out there. But I just got to pay attention to that. As long as I get off two E-Webs, that could be huge. Astral Barrage comes through here. Um, I need you to eat up, Reggie. Come on, baby. Come on, Reggie. Mm. Mm. That's tough, dude. That thing hits so hard. So, how many turns left in Psychic Terrain? If it's gone, we could be sitting fine here. Take a fire comes through. That's easy eats. That's easy eats all day. Um, what do I go through from here? I might have to double up into that. Again, it depends if the Psychic Terrain's ending. If it ends, I can choose to a Sucker Punch, which could be huge for me. If not, it does not. So, we have to choose to a Wicked Blow. I might double down into you. Hmm. I think I'm going to double down into you. This one's going to be tough because if my Urshfu goes down here and it turns to a 1v1. I don't know, man. I don't know what we're going to do. Just start Flare Blitzing onto an Entei? That is so tough. But again, speed? We outspeed the Entei, no problem. It's the Spectre that I'm really worried about. And if my Urshfu outspeeds him, then we were just overthinking the whole time. But I think Spectre might have a little speed edge on this thing. Because he's very fast. So minus one really won't do it. Let's see. Urshfu does outspeed. Yo, that's beautiful. That's going to be GG's. I, actually, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be GG's. We know we take out him. No problem. But if the Entei can take out my Urshfu, then it's going to be very close. But if he doesn't, then we can be sitting pretty good. Let's see how this one plays out here. Stone Edge comes through. Please go after Incineroar. It does. Yo, that's beautiful. We're going to be able to win this battle. No problem. A Guava Berry is going to be able to pop because Unnerve is off the field now. And that's GG. So I could have just stayed in with my Urshfu and end up dropping a Wicked Blow. But we were trying to do something a little bit smarter there. But it ended up working out either way. Flare Blitz flies through, dealing up a little bit of damage, and a Wicked Blow should be able to come in here and clean up this battle, no problem. No problem, man. Yo, dude, Urshifu MVP of this team so far, dude. Been loving Kiram, though. Kiram's been able to rock out deal some massive amount of damage, but no, dude. You're not beating this, this Urshifu. He's always a good choice in every single battle. Like I said, he just comes in the back end, and he cleans up so well. That was a great choice for me to bring him in in the first battle and the second battle here. He cancels out here. We're sitting at 2-0, and and we can hop to our third and look for that perfect record for today's video. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. We're going up against a Yavelta team yet again, but this guy has more Peko, and that's a little scary considering that Pokemon is awesome, and he rocks out in a lot of instances. He's just very strong and very intimidating for me. He also has uh, Whimscop for Tailwind and Support Mon. Then he has Intimidate with the Landers, Celestial, and Volcarona in his bottom two slots. All right, um, I don't want to go into Incineroar again. I don't want to go into Incineroar. He's not a bad. He just has that huge fake out. The fake out just poses that huge threat, so I think I'm just going to go into Incineroar. We go Spectre as well and just start uh, dropping attack, special attack, and rolling out from there. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? Definitely want Kiram. I think Urshifu. I might go Spectre, Kiram, and Urshifu. Hmm. 
Let's Jeans one do here. I could go with Regilecki. Regilecki's not bad here. What do I want to do? Regilecki's solid here. Considering your impulse just rocks out in a lot of situations. But again, if he leads the lander, then it's tough. So I'm just going to expect your plate safe. Go Kirim, and then I think Urshifu is my final mon. That's what I'm going to do. Let's get it. Let's get after it. Oh, did I, did I clip that? Did I click it? Did I click done? I don't know, man. I don't know if I clicked on. <laughs> we'll see, yo. Oh, yo, look at this dude's trainer card. The little bear. Gotta love it. They gotta love the bear. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, let's see it. He ends up going lander, so, and Wimscott. The Intimidate is gonna come out in effect here. Um, we can fake out. Uh, what do I think he's gonna do? I had to double down into it. Or I could just throw on a burn. What does Jeans want to start doing here? I might just burn the, the Lando here. I think that might be my play. Fake out the Wimscott, burn the Lando. Or let Wimscott get off Tailwind here, because we know Tailwind is a potential like thing. I could taunt him actually. I'm gonna end up taunting you. And I'm gonna fake you out. That's my that, that is actually gonna be my play. Yeah, let's taunt up on there. He's gonna end up withdrawing the lander, so I'm with that turn all day. And Yvelta is going to come out in effect. I'm cool with that all day. Jeans is cool with that play. I'm cool with that play because I get off huge fake out unless he protects. He ends up, he does end up protecting. Okay, cool. The smart little play by him. He ends up protecting. Taunt's not coming out here. So we can, we can just fake out and then just get after my uh, Spectre. Spectre does outspeed, which is pretty cool. So I might just go into a Snarl here. And just, I could just Flare Blitz. They got you. Let's see, is he going to end up tailwinding? Let's see what he does here. Maybe he'll taunt me. He's going to end up tailwinding. And that's tough. I think he's going to take out my special here. But I am Sash, so I do like that all day. Snarl's going to come out from him. I'm cool with that. Jeez, yo. Oh, my Lord. Yo, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about with uh, dark moves on Spectre or Calyrex. It just it just deletes him. Deletes him instantly. Special attack does get a drop here. We're going to end up Snarling. And I think we can potentially take out Wimscott here. Snarl comes out, gets a special attack drop, which is nice, nice and lovely. Rush Sash was huge there, Flare Blitz is going to be able to poke out here, and I think it should be able to pick up K on this little fluffy cotton ball, right? It does indeed, get that thing out my game, but he has a Tailwind set up, and this is why I won at Regilecki really, really bad, was for this reason, but we're sitting here, we're sitting here now, and we know he's probably going to take me out with a Snarl, and Lander's going to get back out. And back. The Lander's out here, I might go for that parting shot. I think it's going to have to be my play is going to a parting shot onto the Lando. Let's see how this one plays out. We definitely want to go into, like, maybe if we can get off a Will-O-Wisp, that would be the play. But I don't see us doing that. So I'm much, and then just parting shot on the Lando. I don't see Lando really protecting. Let's see, he's going to end up with on the Yvelta. That's totally fine by me. And he's going to end up sending out Celestia, which is cool. I'm cool with that. So we, I know we might end up being able to get off a burn. Nope, EQ is going to fly at the rear. A smart, oh, smart play by him. All day. Smart play by him. Is that going to be able to take out my Incineroar? He picks up a double KO. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch, that is rough. That is real rough. That is real rough. That is super rough. So he ends up getting the double kill. He chose his life orb. And we're going to have to bring out our next two Pokemon, which is going to be Kiram. And, oh, we ended up getting Regilecki. We ended up getting Regilecki. I should check my team. I didn't click my team then. Because didn't I want to... Uh, I wanted Urshifu, right? I did want Urshifu, but yo, dude, I'm totally fine with this. Let's rip up with this. Let's get it. It's actually a little bit better for me now in this instance. Um, I could go for an E-Web. I could start taking Speed Control. I have to get rid of that uh, that Lando, so I might end up protecting. and just going for a free try and finishing off this guy. Probably my play, my play, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see how this one plays out. I wonder what Celestial is going to do. Celestial might set up a Leech Seed. It'll be biggest turn. If I end up protecting, I say, hey. Slow, slow your roll there, pups. Because if I can get rid of this guy, I can start taking a little bit of speed control here. And I swear, yo, if you get a flinch on me, I'm done. I'm wrapping this up. If you get a flinch on my boy, he doesn't get it. He gets that super effective and he gets a crit. Don't don't go crit flinch. Don't you dare do me with the crit flinch. Heavy slam comes to the rear, and that's going to end up taking me out. How much GG's, you know? I'm just getting steamrolled here. I'm getting steamrolled here. Absolutely steamrolled here. No problem. Beast Bruce comes out. And this dude is just, this dude is just washing me right now. 
he's just watched me this one's over with but hey we didn't get swept you guys already know the rules we don't go over three on channel and we don't get swept and we didn't get swept we were able to take out the women's guy here but hey gg's this guy he played a great battle and just dominated me here in the third and final battle so in that third and final battle, I knew the name looked familiar. So after we ended up losing that one, I went over on the YouTube and checked if it was him. It was actually Pokeberm. If you guys do not know who Pokeberm is, he's another YouTuber who does VGC content. Definitely check out his channel. Yo, Pokeberm. Good battle right there. Hopefully I can get you next time we battle. But hey, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.